there. So um, I did an unboxing last week or a couple days ago and I made a little comment about if you wanted to see what fits inside, let me know. Someone said they wouldn't mind. So I'm gonna do that. And then also a video that I made a long time ago with the flamenco. Um, someone asked me if I could show a what what fits inside because they got the mini and they want to see if maybe they should upgrade to the medium and that um, I'd be more than happy to. I decided to just go ahead and do these before I forget um, and then also tomorrow I'm gonna have no makeup on so might as well do it today when I have a little bit of makeup on. Um, so I this is a very raw what's in my bag um, what fits inside type video because I've been running around like crazy. I started my new job this week and I have also been trying to work at my old job because I still haven't found anyone to uh, take my position yet. So I've literally been working like a 70, 80 hour week. I'm exhausted and my bags are just filled with whatever I've been throwing inside throughout the week. Um, so my work bag this week is filthy. Um, please don't judge me. It is the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote. I think this is a size large, like it's been just, I don't even know what that is. It's not poop. Um, but yeah, there's just like a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to try to use some of the stuff in here to show you what fits in those two bags. This one and then the bag from, um, that I unboxed last week. So let's go ahead and do it this way. This one is empty except for the stuffing that's inside. So this is the Lueve Flamenco bag in the size medium. I purchased this about a year or two ago. And this bag is amazing for a grab and go. Like I can't tell you how many times I've been off, like, oh gosh, it's Pomeranian fur. And then, um, yeah, like a list of stuff that I needed from the store. So this is like my grab and go bag. Love it. It's a pretty decent size. Um, there's no pockets or anything. You literally just like shove stuff in there, shoulder strap, and then it uh, magnets shut and you're on your way. And you can cinch it like that, which I do. What I have found, however, is when you cinch it, it'll stay for a little bit, but then kind of over time as you're walking around, it kind of uncinches itself so that part doesn't really stay but doesn't bother me too much so what fits inside the Lueve flamenco size a medium let's see like i said this is a bunch of random stuff so uh, i'm going to try to find stuff that you can kind of get an idea of like how big it is so i have a um one piece swimsuit which fits inside and my Kate Spade wallet, my car keys, um, let's see, some lip gloss, um, a nail polish, let's see, I have my Tic Tac pouch, and it is closing, kind of bulky. I think we can fit more. Oops. Let's see. My glasses. One of my organizer or my my day planner. It's kind of getting to the point where I have to kind of move stuff around a little bit, but it's still magnets closed. Does it cinch? Sure does. Okay, let's see what else fits inside. I'm gonna put my Louis Vuitton organizer. This is like a mini, I have literally no idea, like a mini size, I guess. Um, okay, getting a little bit harder to close, but still closes. What's that website called, Wish? I got this little pouch off Wish. It's like a Goyer knockoff. I literally don't usually do that, but it was a really good price. And then um, sunscreen. Okay. It's still magnets closed if I like kind of force it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's heavy. 
I think there's still room. Like it's crazy. But this is what it looks like inside. Let's see. I'm gonna put a reusable grocery bag. It's my Min and Mon one that I got not too long ago. Okay, I think it's kind of at capacity. So now it's at the point where it like will not really shut close. Let's see if it cinches. It will, but it's like, it's full to the brim. So that's that. Now let's see um, if I can get all this stuff inside my new Fendi bag that I got last week. I think it'll all fit, but let's check it out anyway. All right, so this guy, I would be very surprised if this bag doesn't fit everything that's in the flamenco bag. And if not, that says a lot for the flamenco bag because it really looks like it wouldn't fit that much. Um, I'm actually really surprised that I just got all that stuff inside. Like very, very surprised. Okay, so we got a little pouch here. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in real quick without trying to hold it because it's really awkward and it's taking longer. So chapstick, sunscreen, my random swimsuit. Okay. So I'm going to show you before the swimsuit, like all this fits and there's a lot of room. Swimsuit you can throw in here and it's getting full but there's still more room. So I was right, this definitely fits more than the flamenco bag. I have this speech therapy pouch, which holds like just a bunch of random stuff. So we'll throw that in there. And with that, it's like pretty full. And I don't really wanna like try to damage this bag because it's already kind of hard to zip up um, but I can zip it so it holds a little bit more than the uh, flamenco little baby bag but yeah so that's what fits inside these two um, if you want to see maybe what fits in this thing I'd be happy to show you, but it's basically like, you know, you could probably fit my entire bedroom in that tote. It holds a lot. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything in particular that maybe you wanted to see fit inside either of those two bags. Um, that's kind of what I carry, have been carrying on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.